Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Laszlo and today I'm going to show you how to mask sensitive data in CloudWatch logs. So what is the use case? Uh, here we have some uh, personal data in the logs as you can see it highlighted here with uh, yellow. So what we want uh, is to mask this personal information so it doesn't show up like this in the logs because the logs might have be um, might be seen by someone who should not have access to that or it might be stored somewhere where it should not be uh, uh, shown like this so let's see how we can do that this, this with uh, cloudwatch it's actually very simple to do and i'm going to show it uh, to you in just a few seconds so here i am in the uh, lambda console why in lambda uh, that is because i will create a function to generate logs so let's call this personal data generator data log generator and uh, i will leave it uh, like that let's just create it okay now the lambda function has been created what I want to do now is to um, print the event. So basically, I'm going to do a console log event, the incoming event to the Lambda function. Okay. And uh, I'm going to configure a test event that will contain some personal information. So name, let's call the name John Miller. This is just a random name. For address, I'm going to add an address this is the amazon corporate headquarter um, and for the third key i'm going to add email um, someone at example.com uh, the key here i'm going to change it to address but the last one i'm going to leave it key three just to make a point here so let's save this i have to give a name personal data okay save and now i'm going to test it by clicking uh, on test so it will print out the personal information and this will uh, land in the logs so if we go to moni the monitoring page and open uh, cloudwatch logs then we will be able to see here in the cloudwatch log group there will be a log stream and you see here, here we have this personal information. So this is not good. How can we mask it? It's very easy. Go to the log group and you have here some tabs. The last tab is called data protection. And uh, you have to here create a policy. And you want to select here what kind of personal information you want to protect. So you could uh, uh, select uh, address but you can also mask things like secret key bank account numbers credit card numbers driver's licenses for different countries um, social security numbers should be there somewhere um, so all kinds of information i just want to mask now address name and email these are the three fields i have okay I have selected them i want also to set up an audit destination so what this will do uh, whenever personal information is detected in the logs it will uh, put an audit log into a different uh, cloudwatch uh, log group so let me create this i will call this pii detected for example expire in one month okay create now i can go back here and refresh and pii detected this will be the log group, uh, log group where whenever the data is detected an, an alert is sent basically and activate data protection that's it now if we go back and um, uh, go to our lambda code and invoke the lambda function again with test another um, log item should be generated here if we go to log streams refresh it has put uh, it has put it in the same log group 
And if uh, you look at the log group right now, you can see we have the initial one, which is not masked, but we have a second one, which is uh, masked. And you see it detected the name, the address, and also the email, while I used key three, so I didn't use the, the, uh, the identifier email, it still detected that it is an email and uh, uh, masked that information. Now, in some cases, um, as an administrator, you might want to um, maybe see the data here. And you can do that if you have the um, unmask, so logs unmask permission, you can do that. Uh, you will be able to temporarily unmask protected data. And you see here it is, it, uh, now it shows mass protected data. But for that you have to have the logs unmask, uh, unmask um, permission. I have it because this is an administrator account, but you can um, define your permissions for your operations people so they don't have this, uh, this permission maybe. If I go to the log groups, um, then you see I have an alert, sensitive data detected in logs. And um, um, you see it's here. It shows sensitive data in the personal data log generator. These are my log groups. And it also shows data protection is on. And now I have this other uh, log group that I have created for audit uh, purposes. And if I look into that log group, um, then you will, I will be able to see that um, it detected um, personal information being in the logs and it will give you details on uh, what log group was it, what kind of data identifiers were there. It will not show you the personal information, it will just show you that it has detected an address, an email address and a name and where it is exactly in the logs. So this is uh, how you are going to um, mask uh, personal information in the logs. Hopefully this was a useful video for you. If it was, click on the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you soon with another video here on the channel. Have an awesome day.